we're going to take all that information that you learned at the top that you took some notes on and we're going to turn it into uh, having a word phrase and being able to write an expression or an equation that fits it. So if we read what we have here, it just says quadruple a number is 20. First thing we need to do is kind of pick out keywords. Uh, quadruple just means four times as much. Uh, a number, if you ever see something that says a number, that is going to be the variable. Now, you can make up whatever variable it is. A lot of times people will just use x, uh, but it really doesn't matter. So I could just use x would be fine. If you ever see the word is, is is always an indication of an equal sign, and then is 20. So all we have to do is follow the steps to put this together. So quadruple a number is 20. So this is basically saying four times a number equals 20. So in order to write that, we could do it a couple of different ways. Uh, I could just write four times, let's say the variable I use is y. Four times y equals 20. Okay, That was one way you could write it. You could write it like this. I could do 4 times y equals 20. That was another way to write it. I could write it just 4y equals 20 because we said before uh, if the number's right beside the letter, the variable, that's multiplication. I could also write it like this. I could go 4 parenthesis y equals 20. That's also multiplication. And if I wanted to put them both in parentheses, that would be perfectly fine. That would also indicate multiplication. So it's just all about picking out the key words that are in the phrase. We have a couple of phrases here that are very similar. A number less than 6 is 14. 6 less than a number is 14. So let's start by identifying some certain parts of this phrase. We've got is 14s on both of them. Is means equals, so we've got is 14 equals 14 equals 14. We've got a less than. Less than is going to indicate subtraction. Okay, uh, so we got subtraction. We got subtraction. Uh, let's see. Other than that, we've got a number and we've got six. So we've got to know a number. Uh, we can make up a variable. I'll use d. Okay. It doesn't matter what you use unless it should unless it stands for something. So let's start with the bottom one. Six less than a number. Okay. So six less than this. So to write six less than this, it would be d minus six. Because then we would have what it says. It's six less than this. This would be six less than this. Now up here it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be 6 minus d because we have a number uh, less than 6. Okay, So whatever the number is, we're taking away 6. And the answers to these problems, you don't need to find the answers to these problems, but notice that they would be different. Uh, 6 minus whatever to get up to 14, we'll learn about next year in 7th grade that that's actually going to be negative 8 would be your answer there. Down here, uh, something minus 6 to get 14 is going to be like, uh, what would that be? That would be 20. 20 minus 6 is 14. So the answers are a lot different. So make sure that you read through what it says to figure out which order these subtraction ones should go in. This one has a couple of different parts in it. 5 more than twice a number is 11. Okay, so let's get this part first is 11. That's always the easiest part to pick out. Uh, that's just equals 11. 5 more than would mean that we're going to have a plus 5 in there somewhere. Twice a number, remember a number would be like a variable, and twice that much. Okay, So it's going to be 2 times whatever we choose for our letter. So in this case maybe I'll just say it's G. Okay, 2 times G uh, five times more than that. So if we need five times more than twice of this, we're going to write this. We're going to write two times g 
and then 5 times more is going to eventually give us 11. Okay? That's how this would work. Now we can write it in a couple different ways. We could write it like this. Remember for multiplication I could always just do this. I could always just do 2g plus 5 equals 11. Number right beside a letter is multiplication. Uh, we could use that dot. 2 times g plus 5 equals 11. Uh, we could do the parentheses. I could just do like 2g in parentheses plus 5 equals 11. Those would all work for this, but again, we just picked apart what it said here. Is 11 would be the equals. 5 more than would be plus 5, twice a number. Remember, a number is a variable, so twice that would just be 2 times that number. Now we're going to actually start with the expressions or the equations and try to write them in word form how they would sound or how you could write them. Okay? And you got some different choices for each one. There's some leeway in them as long as you use the right words. This first one up here, um, there's no equal sign anywhere, so we're not going to worry about is whatever. We don't have to worry about those in either one of these. We will have to worry about in this one. So for this one, here's, here's how I would say this. And you could say it probably in a different a couple different ways. I would say 7 more than the quotient of x and 5. Okay? 7 more than the quotient of x and 5. So we got to make sure we have everything in there. I've got 7 more. Okay? 7 more would mean plus 7. Uh, this right here, we could say it a couple different ways. The quotient is the answer to a division problem. So I could say the quotient, it's like um, if you were do, if it was, you were adding, you could say the sum of, but for division it's the quotient. So the quotient of x and 5. I could just simply say 7 more than, than x divided by 5. Okay? I could say 7 more than x cut into 5 pieces. Okay? Either way, it's going to work out just fine. For this one right here, uh, I could just simply put, it's, it's 6 times f is what it is, and you could just say 6 times f would be fine, but I, I could also put product of 6 and f. Again, product's that key word, product is the answer to a multiplication problem. I could just say 6 times f also. For this one up here, you know at the end we're going to have an is 13 because that's what it equals. Okay, so how I could say this is, I could say 7 fewer than D is 13. Fewer meaning subtraction. I could say uh, 7 fewer than a number is 13. That would also work. But remember, a number indicates the variable. Either of these will work. And you can be pretty flexible with these as long as you know what the different words mean for what. And that first video should have really helped you because it gave you a lot of different words that you can use for each one of these operations. So always keep that in mind.